sign autographs, and I have a panel this afternoon called Ask Professor Oak, where we can, I can talk to you about what it was like being part of the original uh, group of actors that helped create the series that you all know and love. And uh, we have lots of other things in store for you, so uh, uh, I'll be roaming around the hallways, and feel free to say hello, and uh, let's see who else we have here. <laughs> There we go. Take it away. Hello, hello, hello. Jason Page here, singer of the original Pokemon theme song. Yeah. Very glad to be here at Poke Poke PokeCon. I'm also the lighting uh, spot operator for this particular <laughs> segment. I'll be here today and tomorrow. We're we'll doing a little talk back. If you guys have questions, I can answer any of your questions about how it all went down all those years ago. And uh, I'll also be out there signing autographs and I've got my little Pikachu SV, is what I call it. It's a little Pikachu whose body comes off. And it's got, oh it's got four gigabyte hard drive and all the Jason Page greatest hits, greatest hits including Viridian City, the Poke Rock parody song, and gotta get that call, pick it up. And a number of other really fun things on here. So I'll be out here answering questions, interacting with everybody, and uh, I'm even going to have a little bit of a costume on a little bit later on. There'll be a band performing, so stick around for the band performance right in this room. And that brings me to the next guest right here. What's up? We're the Dex on YouTube. How's it going, guys? Uh, we're going to be out uh, in the hallway for a lot of the day. We're going to be around all weekend. We've got a panel in like two hours or something. Three o'clock. Yeah, three o'clock. I don't know if you guys even if you need this mic, but you guys. I speak so loud. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, come say hi. We have uh, our awesome shirts that we have for sale today. You can come yes. run up outside. Uh, we'll sign anything you guys want. Don't feel weird about asking. Say hi a million times. I don't care. I got my BS. You want to throw down whatever you guys want to do. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, we'll be around. Uh, we're, we have a panel here in two hours. Anything else you guys want to say? Pokemon rules. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be here. So uh, great to see you guys. Come say hi, and uh, we'll hand it off to uh, the next guests. This is Alex. I'm Pokekels, and this is Jimmy. Yeah. Bye. 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 What's up everyone? My name is SBJ. I'm the host and creator of the Pokemon podcast called It's Super Effective and you are? I'm Micah and that's it. <laughs> uh, we do a weekly podcast in iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, wherever you get podcasts and it's about all aspects of Pokemon, whether that's the PCG, the VGC, the anime, the card game, uh, Magic Carp Jump. Uh, yep. <laughs> Pokemon game. The most and Pokemon Go too. So we have a booth out there, we're selling shirts and prints and you're doodling people's favorite Pokemon. Yeah, a little bit. If you got a Pokemon, come by and 
and tell me, and maybe I'll try. <laughs> Thanks! Hey guys! My name is Zachary Storch. I'm an author, game designer, and I was also on a big TV show called King of the Nerds. Um, you know, I'm nerd culture, frankly. Everything that defines me as a person, and a nerd, and in my career, and everything ultimately boils down to my love of Pokemon, because that was the first RPG game I ever played, it was one of the first video games I ever played, and it was probably the first fandom I was ever involved in. So Pokemon is amazing. Uh, later on, we're going to be having, uh, tonight, I'm going to be hosting a game design panel all about uh, video game design. Come and ask questions if you ever wanted to make a video game, or if you ever wanted to work on that kind of thing. Come ask those questions. I've made also two card games. Um, one's called Planner Catastrophe. It's featuring art from the video game adaptation of my novel, Zanar Impossibility. So it was that, I, it's from the uh, game Adventure Quest Worlds, which I know some of you know because some of you were telling me about that at my table just out there. I already met some cool fans of that. So uh, come on by, I also got a prototype for my game Rochemberg. It's a, a rock, paper, scissors inspired fantasy card game. It's gonna be fun. So we're gonna talk about that tonight um, in terms of game design stuff. Tomorrow, I'm also gonna be hosting a panel that I know some of you are excited for, again, because you already told me at the table, or uh, checked it out at Anna Minneapolis recently. We're going to be hosting Pokecon Plays Pokemon, which is my take on Twitch Plays Pokemon in real life. It is a terrible idea almost of every single past, because it shouldn't work. But every time we host it, it's a blast. You'll, you'll all be basically shouting out commands, which I will be entering blind on my computer. It's a mess. We've got a pretty long time block scheduled for it. Potentially, this will be the first convention that we ever get like to a whole badge or something. Even. You know, that can be pretty impressive. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, definitely come by. Hope to see you guys around the convention. And just that one. I don't know. Then you have to sit there. Here, here. I, I would like to introduce you to uh, one of my good friends here. This is Zeril. He is the creator of Pokemon Showdown, which is the leading battle simulator out there in the Pokemon Command community. Pretty much if you know anything about the competitive Pokemon community, you probably have, have seen this guy's battle simulator right out there because it's huge. Uh, he doesn't like talking very much. I'm going to let him talk if he wants to. Hi, uh, yeah, I'm Zeril. Uh, he's right, I don't like talking, but I should probably introduce myself instead of making someone else do it for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Um, anyway, I am the creator and lead programmer for Pokemon Showdown, which is a battle simulator for Pokemon games. Uh, if you are, you've heard of Pokemon Showdown, you're probably a big Pokemon fan and you, you've probably been here before, so hi again if you have. <laughs> Um, because I do this every year. Um, if you haven't, uh, Pokemon Showdown is basically just a battle simulator for the Pokemon games. It simulates um, like red and blue battles, it simulates sun and moon battles, it simulates everything in between. Uh, you can just jump in, you click random battle and you don't need, even, need, even need to make a team. You just go right into the battle experience of a random team, play against other people online. If you want to build a team, you can do that too. Um, it's a good way to practice for the VGC uh, if you, oh, without needing to actually breed every single Pokemon you want to try. So, yeah. Um, I am both a guest and a staff member for uh, Pokecon. I go with... Um, I've, I've, I do the registration page on the Pokemon the Pokecon website, so if there's any problem with that, that's my fault. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. um, anyway, yeah, I like to be more of a behind-the-scenes guy, so I don't have a table out there, but if you see me around, feel free to ask me any questions about Pokemon Showdown or Pokecon or whatever else you really feel like. Uh, I have a panel tonight. It's um, just Pokemon Showdown Battles Live, and I hope to see you there. So, yeah. All right, guys, how are you all doing this, uh, today? Great! Great? Yeah. All right. So, we're doing it a bit backwards. We had the guests go on first. Figured that might be a little bit more interesting. All right. So, this year we've actually got some uh, pretty cool panels and we got some pretty cool things going on. This year we actually uh, decided to go green with the schedule and the guidebook. So, please check out pokecon.com slash guide or check it on Facebook or Twitter. It's on all of them. You can 
you know, easily access it in there. Um, there's plenty of really great events this weekend, whether it's the tournaments or the panels. So make sure to check it out. We also got it uh, taped up on the wall outside as well, down by the front door. Okay? All right. Um, so I, what I'd like to do is I'd like to actually introduce some of my staff that are here because without this we couldn't actually do it. So I'd like you guys to come up on stage, please. Please give them a big round of applause. If you, if you can, thank you for wearing the people in the bright blue shirts around the convention too. Because it's a lot of work and I definitely can't do it without them. They're, they're everywhere. <laughs> they're, they're everywhere. 